do you ever do this if you're hungry i always do this i think it's just like a habit i like it though I'm going for a midnight snack like why the fuck would i cook right now why would i do that when i can just buy it <laughs> I've been in bed all day, literally all day. It feels nice. I feel like my body still needs a couple of days, but we we're, we're kind of like sixty percent charged. I think that's just the most rest I've probably had in the last two weeks. Just today. Not to say that I got home fucking late from fucking heaven last night. But anyway. Yesterday when I was talking about like, um, well this morning, it wasn't even yesterday, no it was yesterday, it was when I was talking about um, men and stuff. So, I was thinking a lot, like I always am, and I was thinking to myself, like when I sit down and actually think about stuff, because you know there are habits that we have, so we are literally products of our environment. I literally had to roll for cover, it started to rain. So, yeah, as I was saying, yeah. And obviously, like, we're products of our environment and stuff. So, there's certain habits that, like, we definitely do that we probably don't realise that, that keeps us in the same circle and cycle, sorry, of attracting things that we kind of don't want when, if you really look, the reflection of a lot of the people that you're attracting you kind of have a lot of similarities, but it's like we don't want to admit it. Um, when I say that, I mean like when you go skin deep about stuff. Because when I was sitting down thinking to myself today, right? And I was like, do you know what? I went from the first man I ever spoke to, to like the last man I ever liked. And I was like to myself, in all honesty, like, I was honestly the most genuine person. I definitely told some fibs and stuff. I feel like I used to do that when I was younger. I would tell, like, little lies to try and impress men and to try and make me seem like this. I just, I've just, I've never been made to feel like enough. So that's where the fibs come from. And I think I've got so used to telling fibs and lies and feeling that is the way that I need to impress men because I've just been brought up. <laughs> My dad told a lot of lies, honey. <laughs> I definitely was brought up around a lot of lies. <laughs> so, like, it becomes almost second nature and you don't even realise that you're doing it. And I had to think about that. And I was like, how genuine have I been in things? As genuine as I thought. And as much as anything, I've always had a genuine heart, I suppose. I just always... I feel like... I feel like I've always... I've never been where I've properly either like, like seen myself. So with how I've seen people in society around my age range and what they've achieved and stuff. And I feel like, cause I've never achieved that or I haven't been through that or I haven't got this or I haven't got that. It always used to make me feel like I needed to overcompensate with the people that come into my life and stuff. So it was very easy for me to, for something sexual to happen or for me to really focus my whole, whole attention on somebody through what they were offering was so li even though what they were offering was so little it was very easy to give the majority of myself just because I felt less than so I was thinking about that and I was like how genuine have I been and I never told bad lies. I would just always make myself sound better than I was. But it still never worked. And then when I started to like really get in tune with myself and start to just love the person that I am, the same shit still followed, to be honest. So then I had to like think, oh, what have I done? And then when I really think about it, I've, I haven't done anything but be human from like a certain point on. So like you give people chances, you see how it goes and it doesn't go anywhere and it just always ends badly. Like it always ends badly. Like I never end up speaking to someone that I've been with and it just be an amicable decision. They always do something shitty. Like it's either 
they either make you feel like something's gonna happen and it doesn't happen, then when it doesn't happen, they make you seem like you're crazy when they were showing you everything that was would would lead anybody with a human heart to feel like something is going somewhere. The things they say, the gestures they do, certain things that you just know that they don't do. And then when they realize they, it, they can't get past a certain place with you, that's when they want to shut that kind of avenue down and i feel like when people do that they have backup so they're still speaking to other people but you're not really aware of it so that's why it's easy to drop you because they're getting what they need from somewhere else and then always later on when that doesn't work out they feel like they can just come to you or you always get a message like hey stranger or um blah blah and if you see them then they'll have some stupid reason why you didn't speak or why you stopped speaking and all this shit and it's just like people are just full of bullshit like either way or you would be in a situation where like per people make their intentions known and you really think it's going somewhere and then you find out that you're one of many or they're not really serious about you in the first place i don't know it's just like people no one it, people want to stop anything fruitful from happening and they don't realize by the mind games that they play and just the way that they move really does prevent people from really believing that love could be real and it's something that can happen for them like they don't understand how to them they're not doing anything but your heart is saying otherwise and you can't be blamed for being human because when you're naturally shown a type of emotion and a type of feeling from another human especially someone that you like and you are getting that mutual attraction that they like you too and then it just suddenly stops i don't understand how people feel like that that's okay and if you act a certain way if you feel a certain way then they have their own stupid reason of justifying it and actually a lot of people kind of make you feel like you're crazy or you're too deep or you've gone too far but you can't stop yourself from being human if someone's showing you something that you want you know and I had to think about that and then I really had to analyze myself and really and truly I really haven't done anything wrong actually but be human I've always given people chances always I've I've never stated stuff that I don't like in situations there's only one time that I blew up and that was like probably my first ex and when I did it was like so irrelevant and he's one that taught me basically like when you have a problem you have to address the issue at the time and it's so funny because even at being like 2011 I still don't really do it now as an adult if I don't like something I kind of just distance myself from you or it, it's just that because I just don't know, I'm not a, you know, I don't think I've noticed, I'm not really a confrontational person like that. I like honesty and I like to be straightforward and I feel like when people are acting certain ways and they're doing certain things, they know exactly what they're doing. I can be accountable for all my actions and obviously I'm only human so there's certain things that I probably, ways that I don't know if I've offended someone or if I've made someone feel a certain way, I might not necessarily know that and I might need to be reminded of that. But then I feel like deep down when you really know how to self-analyse yourself, you kind of know all your thoughts and where you go wrong and what you need to work on. So I feel like you really, everyone really does know their intentions and exactly what they're doing to people. <laughs> but they choose not to take accountability for it. I can sit down and be like, oh, wait, I've done this wrong, I've done that wrong, I've done that wrong. And I can definitely have my hold my hands up and know where I've been a fault in certain situations, definitely. But I haven't been no more of a fault than another human being ha has probably been in another situation either. I've never taken anyone for granted. I've never used and abused anyone. And my feelings for someone has always been genuine. I always concentrate on that person. And then if it doesn't work, then it does, then it, you know, it doesn't work. But it's never just that an amical doesn't work. I've like literally got a story for every single person I used to talk to. And it's really bad. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's literally bad. <laughs> like, fucking hell. I'm even like, maybe it's you and it's not me. I'm not going to blame me for the way things end because if someone, if I feel like someone has betrayed me or hurt me, there's no way in God's earth that you're, you're gonna, I'm gonna be cool with you when I see you outside or be civil or even show you hello when you didn't even have the decency or the audacity to even give me that safe respect when my feelings were concerned. So why should I be so concerned about how I appear to you? I couldn't give a flying fuck. And I, yes, I would let everyone know exactly what you did. Jesus, my gosh. I've had the most stupid reasons why people wouldn't go further with me or that or just if you hear some of the things that people have said why they don't want to be in a relationship oh my god I could make a string of videos about it but when they want sex it's so easy accessible and that's one thing I fucking hate is how people can go about wanting sex 
and can go about wanting sexual favors from you and only seeing you as like this object but when you turn around and even say like me i'm a decent person you know i'm an adult so like if, if things happen things can actually happen but i would not ever allow anything to naturally happen if i didn't feel something for the person that's just how i am some people can separate sex and all that stuff i can't i can't see you today and and my god because i'm horny we're gonna have sex and then it's that's just gonna be it and i can erase it i have to sleep with myself at night and i get guilty if i've done something that i feel like was was unjust to who i am that jeopardizes me as a person as a man I just I just there's some people that can do it and amazing if you can and I just can't so when you explain that to people they see it as something that's like oh he's long or they don't they don't see it as anything to take on value the fact that I just don't fuck anybody like and it's not that easy for me to have sex so if I want to have sex with you and we do have sex you have to know that that means because I, I have a certain element of feeling for you otherwise I wouldn't do it I would never put myself in that position to be one of these people in the club that someone can say oh I had him I had him I had him everywhere I go someone has had me I can never be in that situation and I feel like I've already been in a type of situation like that just because of the chances I've given people but that's different I mean I'd rather be in a situation because I kind of gave you a chance and we was talking and it didn't work out and me didn't you and me be another person that just ticked off your list and there's definitely some regrets that I, I have Absolutely. The few people that I've even had sex with, there's definitely like a few regrets that I've had there. There's definitely loads of regrets of the, some of the people that I've given head to. Oh my God. Because a lot of people don't deserve you like that. They don't deserve to see outside of you. They don't deserve to have that pleasure. They don't deserve it. If you're not being reciprocative and you're not showing me what I deserve, then why should I give you anything intimate? from me from my aspect how do you hell do you expect to have my intimacy but you don't want me literally so you don't want my entirety but you want my intimacy one of the most valued bits that i have to offer to somebody you want that but you don't want my entirety are you crazy and it's so funny how it's so easy to give that to people just because you feel a certain way you feel a certain way but every time you're giving yourself to someone you're getting you're giving your you're giving out pieces of yourself that you will never get back like, I would never feel just and I would never feel whole. Me just giving myself to every Tom, Dick and Harry. That's why sometimes I always say, like, I wish I could be at home. I wish I could, you know, have that mind frame of, you know, just being able to have sex and not think about it. And it's just whatever. I, I wish I could, to be honest, because life would be so much easier considering that's the only thing that people want. But then, who wants to be someone that everyone's had? I'm never be that person. I don't want to be that person that everyone has. So yeah, it's just a shame really that this is how the world works, like you have to, to be happy it seems like you either have to be someone's little secret or you have to accept the fact that you're going to get cheated on which is crazy to me, you have to accept the fact that you could possibly be an option, you have to accept the fact that you might need to fight for somebody, like I don't feel like, I feel like things will always be simple, it's just the, the wrong people that you interact with that make you feel like all those things are just the only option for you when it is possible like just the same way that i can sit here right now and see someone walking and i could befriend that person that person could end up being a friend for life something can be so fruitful i meet people every single day you know it's so easy to meet people but for and, and you, when you meet meeting people, you don't think, oh, I don't think I can be a friend. I don't think I want to take this friendship seriously. Oh, I don't think I want to. No one thinks that. Like, if you gel with someone, you gel with someone. Like, you don't analyze that deep. So why does everything have to be an analyzation when it's getting to be, when it's interacting with someone on a personal level? I don't understand why people make things so complicated. It's so irritating. And I only, like, I only want to make videos like this and I want to talk about this more just because there's so much people that are younger than me that probably have given up hope just because of the stupid ways that people act. And I, you need to know that it's not you. I was thinking like that once. I used to think like that. But sometimes we just need to broaden our horizons. On top of that, sometimes we just need to let live and let be. And sometimes we just need to maintain the standards that we have for ourselves. Don't ever allow anyone to make you feel like your standards are too high. And that's one thing. Like, I always had standards 
does and I always had people tell me no that's too much what you want is unrealistic the fact that you want marriage and you want to elope in Hawaii is unrealistic to the point where I end up believing that it was unrealistic and I just took it down I was like what the fuck and so now if no one doesn't aspire for that then it's okay no it's not fucking okay because that's what I want for me I want someone to want to marry me like I want you to see me and be like yes this is going to be my husband. You're going to be my husband. And even though that may sound like cuckoo, I don't understand how the hell someone has the audacity to tell me that that is setting too high standards. Just because you have standards for yourself and you have all these justifications when you speak to people that actually like you but they don't see that much for themselves. So they want to dumb down your vision and they want to be like, oh, well, marriage is blah blah i don't really believe marriage is only just the ring it's only just the piece of paper no it's not it's the sacred vow of saying that on 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 everything that in me and only me you want for the rest of your life and i'm sorry if i'm stupid or if i'm delusional for feeling that i want that for myself then bye oh, then we're not made to be together jesus it should be me and only me like i don't care people i've had the discussion about um we had a massive discussion at work and um, we was talking about cheating and forgiveness in marriage and stuff. And I was like, I, if I would forgive a cheater, then I would be with my ex. I would be with him. I'd be chasing that dick down. I'd be like, yes, come on, abuse me some more. I won't forgive a cheater. I, I can't, I would not be my mum. My mum has a forgiving heart like that. And because I've seen for years and years of what happened to her, all the aunties around me cheating. Once someone's a cheater, literally, they're always going to be a cheater. And if they stop cheating, then you have to go through so much shit, so much shit for you, for them to actually realise. And I have not got that time. Time is very valuable. Time is precious and time is some a beautiful thing in life that you can never get back. You can never, and we definitely take it for granted. I take it for granted all the time. Today I was sleeping all day instead of making an experience that would last me a lifetime. We always do it, but oh well. Sometimes sleep is important. But, like, I don't understand, like, people don't value. People don't value and respect values and self-worth and having a bit of dignity is not seen as something attractive. It's seen as you're long or you're this or you're just time wasting or you're a liar. I say it too much times when people are like, um, did you have sex in America? Do you have sex in Miami? Do you have sex? You're lying. How can you not have sex in Miami? Jesus Christ, I don't do shit like that. I mean, I don't understand how, why I have to even justify myself to people the fact I did not fuck when I went on holiday. And that, that's what going on holiday is about. Are you crazy or something? Wow. If that's what going on holiday is about for you, then fantastic for you. But, I mean, if I don't even do that here, why the hell am I going to go on holiday and do that, dear? The only thing I embrace about going to America, to be honest, is my gayness. I embrace the fact that I can go to certain events and I can dress certain ways that I probably would only dress in the night. Like if I'm going to a certain event here, and even when I'm going here, it's not like I'll go on transport in a thong and, 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 and fishnet ties. I would literally drive there, park as close as possible, go and go. Or it's Uber, close as, as possible. Like I don't like the whole walking past people. I don't like it until I'm actually in the club and I'm in my zone. The only reason why I dress the way I dress is because I like the way my body moves and I like the way that I feel. I like the way it makes me feel. I don't dress like that for men because if I was dressing like that for men, I mean, I would know, I would not be no further than I am now and to be honest because masculine and being too feminine or oh, you're this your camp or you're too this or you're too this if I literally was to be the younger me and try to do everything that made everybody happy I would be I don't think I would even be alive right now I think I would have honestly tried to commit suicide just because of it Honestly, I used to put so much pressure on myself because of the stupid things that I thought men wanted and I tried to be that. And I'm like, when I started to love myself, I was like, you know what? I'm a dope ass fucking man. I'm amazing. I'm amazing, actually. I make people happy. I make people joyful. And I love with all my heart. I'm not bad looking. And there's just a lot happening for me and I've got a lot going on and of course we're only human once again so there's always self-development there's always growth and you shouldn't put that pressure on yourself if you're not a certain way or if you haven't been if you haven't learned this or you haven't done that because life isn't about rushing you're not meant to you're not meant to rush through life like that life is a journey and it's full of experiences and the more self-love you put into yourself the more you can just appreciate the little things in life you know like so, if I'm not going to find someone that can just appreciate me in my entirety, then you don't deserve me at all. So, 
I just need someone to really come and actually prove their self for once and I'm going to maintain my standards so should you all because you're nothing you're, you're worth more than anything that anyone can make you feel like you're worth less than if someone's making you feel less than it's because they're trying to dumb you down to how they see their self you know so with that being said, I've sat here long enough and my tummy is rumbling and my, my body is probably punching me right now because the way my stomach feels, it feels like it's having a war down there. So, let me go to Tisco and get my fucking wings that I should have fucking got. Me here chit-chatting all day long in the fucking night time and it's raining. Is it still raining? Mm. No, it's not. Oh, can you imagine this time last week? Actually, it wasn't last week. No, it wasn't last week. This time, two weeks ago, I was in 30 degree weather. <laughs> And now I'm in rainy London. And you know what? I'm not going to moan about it. I'm cold right now. I'm starving. But it's a blessing. Rain is a blessing. You know, some countries don't get rain. Imagine if we, you were brought up in a place that never rained ever in life. That actually wouldn't be a nice thing. There will be drought like a motherfucker. So, as much as London can be very unpredictable. I love where I'm from. <laughs> oh my god, let me get my wings, I'm starving, shit. Oh my god, my heart literally just stopped. But then I saw the sign. That like, express store is open as usual. I would have died. What would I have had to eat? This is South Venues, guys. In East London, fucking hell. Oh. <sighs> me, I'm starving. Oh my god, my stomach is crying. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I'm trying to be healthier. Juice. My beans, because not in the salad. This, you guys, is the fucking truth. If you've never had this, oh my god. So, when I went to like a Turkish restaurant, I fell in love with their salad. And then I found out that it was this they put in it. It's like pomegranate syrup. And I just put it on the salad. And oh my god, it tastes so good. Oh. And that's all done. The wings are done. Put it in. I actually don't think I'm going to finish this now. I'm starving before. Oh. So I love this girl. Literally. I've and Abigail X. I like, I love them. Oh, her story times are so lit. So I'm gonna tuck into this. I don't even want to talk to nobody. With my big bowl. I just, I just want to be free. And I'm gonna enjoy. So I go there. See you guys later. Make sure you tune into our YouTube.